Hey, what's up, Silver Trader FM subscribers and viewers? The markets are bullish today with Apple News. So the Nasdaq leading the way with Apple announcing first dividend in 17 years and a buyback plan of $10 billion in stock. They will be providing a dividend of $2.65 a share starting July 1st, and that's about $10.60 a year. Divided by 600, that's about 2% payback for holding Apple shares. The bigger picture, the financials are doing well in the weekly, monthly, three-month, and making its way to the top on six-month performance. Just remember what I said before. If the financials are strong, they will bring the markets up with it. So we'll see if that trend continues for the rest of the year. It is, after all, an election year, so... Bernanke and the banks will all uh, do everything that they can to uh, make sure that the president gets reelected, or somebody similar to him. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so the bigger picture of silver. We're still in this uptrend, but the last few months we've been in this downtrend, waving flag. So this bullish move up has this waving flag pattern we go another one or two cycles up and down then ideally this pattern should go bullish to the upside so we shall see if that is the case in the longer term outlook of silver let's look at the daily of silver so there was this reverse head and shoulders pattern as announced by several um, technical analysts so there's the left shoulder, the head, the right shoulder, and we're making our way to breaking out of that uh, right shoulder. Then the Bernanke spoke, and we're heading back down. So silver potentially has a bit more to go on the downside. It's uh, making its way up here, then it could potentially go back down here to the um, 30 range where previous swing lows were happening here. So we'll see if it bounces up from there. Otherwise, it can continue all the way down to this trend line, 27. So we can either see that bounce from here, 30, or back here. If it fails here on this trend line, then the next major support area will be the 26.15 area. So I see next dip buying opportunity should be at the $30 range then after that at the $27 range and after that $26 range let's look at gold gold itself kind of looking similar to silver had a big drop over here with major volume on the sell off days as you can tell here the red days is going up here barely going up for the green area but on the sell-off days volume is definitely going up on the up days volume is going down so there's still potential for gold to dip a bit more and possible pattern for gold will be to hit 1595 to, 15, to 1600 right here then from there we should be able to see gold rally back up possibly back up to 1800 it's just a matter of time and looking at the uh, 1600 level that was a uh, previous areas of resistance and support here resistance here and support here and as long as we can stay on top of that we should find major support and a nice bounce up with uh, a lot of people waiting for a nice round number of 1600 to uh, load back up on gold. If you're stacking, doesn't matter, just buy on the dips, buy a little bit here, buy a little bit on its way down here. Then the longer term range for gold is uh, 1750 and above, 1800, 1900, and we'll see if we can hit 2000 by uh, mid to end of year of 2012. So that's it for now for the metals, silver and gold. Keep stacking the real money.
Silver Trader FM, I'm out for now. Take care, guys.